All right, I am just getting started here, and it's the coldest day of the year. Um, there was actually ice on my windshield when I left, so it was below freezing on uh, land. And uh, I am working through with a needlefish, and uh, cold weather, I got out, and I tell you, I wanted to stay in. I also dropped on a teaser, and uh, I got out, it's the coldest day of the year. Uh, got the neoprene waders on, and uh, hopefully there'll be some basses out uh, to connect with. Um, Check that out. Fluke on the needlefish. Eight, 16. He's over 17. He was playing funny. That's wild. Fluke on the needle in the middle of winter. Coldest day of the year. We can get him going. That could be a sign of something interesting. The water's definitely way warmer than the air. Uh, somewhat. It's kind of cold. <laughs> so I'm going to try working since the needle had them. They seem to be smaller. I'm going to work through with a one ounce bucktail. And a, that's probably about a five inch uh, chartreuse felt trailer. See if any of those stripers will like that. That is definitely the bigger fish of the evening so far. And definitely a keeper. And I'm working the bucktail teaser combo. Let's see where he's at. He's pulled, he's taking drag. different things tonight. I try to keep my rod angle even. Sometimes it's hard with this light. But he is definitely the bigger fish of the evening so far. A cold, cold day. Strike bass fishing. Wow, what did he grab? Oh, the double header! Holy smoke, they're big too! That's one. He's a keeper. He's just short. Wow. Can you get him on his way? That's why. That's definitely the bigger fish of the evening. One at a time here. Maybe the water will hand him away. And he's the keeper. Definitely a keeper. That's 8, 16, 24. He's pretty right up there. Two. Okay, let's get him. Let's put my rod up here. So I'm going to need two hands. goes one. Okay. That's one. Let's get him going. Keep an eye on both of them. Better. All right, so it is certainly the, the coldest day of the year so far. 
it is most certainly was freezing out and the water's going to be a little bit warmer um i'm on a bucktail tonight striped bass but the water's going to be warmer but a couple of things i do in the cold weather and i'm doing well i don't have i brought gloves because i'm breaking myself into the cold weather and i'm okay i'm glad i got out um almost didn't come out but uh threw on the neoprene waders and uh i have a windbreaker on i did put on long johns i got two sweatshirts on and i'm just wearing khakis this is real warm you're gonna heat up uh another thing you can do is walk if you feel you're getting cold take a little walk go to another spot check it out i guarantee you'll be warmed up and ready to fish when you hit that next spot which is what I'm going to do now. Okay. But uh, uh, dress warm and uh, you just don't know. So we did did well. So I'm going to keep on fishing. And uh, just working through. It's right here. Let me see. Just working through. It's a bucktail. I don't think it's, I'm not messing around because that could be a big fish. I think it is. Could be a double header. I don't know. He's right there, right in the gully, the double header, I might just take off that teaser, twice to work, and uh, it is, let's see, wow, wow, oh now we just got him, he just slashed that bucktail, it is a nice fish, he just took the bucktail, slashed him on the, the top, Was fairly close in and uh one thing when you're handling stripers is i don't squeeze the fish if you feel you're squeezing the fish i think you're using too much pressure so i go light until i get a short grip i think you're better off than giving it that big giant depth grip um especially if you're handling them around the, the belly Kind of get your hand in the right position, stay away from the guts, and then get them in. Cold night striped bass fishing. Cold night. They are pretty tight in, I think. He was fairly, fairly close. And through with the bucktail now. I don't know. If I keep on banging them out like that, I am going to remove that teaser because I just don't want that extra work. Let's see. Oh wow, he's a nice one. He's a nice one. That's a keeper. There are some bigger fish around. That's a nicer fish. Let's see. That's a bigger one of the night so far. I'm liking that chartreuse, I think. Kind of glows. Kind of glows in the water. Let me. Just because uh, you don't want to wear that fish down. Um, sometimes you got no choice. You know, I think I have on 30 pound, which is a lot. But I'm probably using six pounds of drag at least, which is a bit for me. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna get fishing. It's exciting. That is definitely. That's the bigger fish of the evening. Wow, he's just, he's just holding out there. I don't think that's a double header. Let me set the rod up. That's a nice fish. Could be a double header. I don't know, but it is definitely. He's taking line, he's shaking. And uh, there he is. Uh, 
really you should go with a little bit tighter dread, I think. Uh, just because you don't want to get that big fish anymore. That 50 inch fish, wear him out. Get him in and have to release him. And I tell you, those are the ones I generally used to keep and I kept one in about five years um, just because the fish was too tired his last season. Let's see. Oh, wow. He took that teaser. These are a little bit bigger fish. These are nice keeper class fish. But like I was saying, um, you don't want to play with a light drag, really too light of a drag. The last time I wrapped my thing around, I had to retie, I don't want to do that. I am warm now because I am psyched. Um, <laughs> uh, you don't want to use too tight of a drag on these here basses. Um, that way. Because let's see. You got it. Those things are strong. So I've been working. This is a one ounce bucktail and uh it's an old one. And with a felt chartreuse, probably about five inch trailer and uh, one ounce um, I, you, I like to just I don't I don't make uh, the buck any kind of fish in the science it's a feel um, but I got one and one and a half and that one is playing well it's just kind of wishing around the bottom and you can just let it sit out there and uh, but uh, I might try a one and a half a little further out so we'll see I'll tell you, there's a bunch of small ones. I've been missing a lot of, I've been getting a bunch of hits, definitely smaller hits. Uh, those bigger fish, they'll, they'll just lay in. Um, you know, but uh, I don't mind. Plenty of good fishing. And uh, get them on a teaser, bucktail combo. They seem to be back and forth, 50-50. One on the teaser, one on the bucktail, one and one, and uh, they're fairly tight. These are the nights you, you want to, you can experiment and it's, well, it's cold. And uh, I didn't get out today, yesterday, day before, so uh, I wanted to just get out and do some fishing. Well, I don't think that's a big one, but he nailed that really tight. Yes. Just real tight fishing. When you're playing that current, when you, when you strike bass run, they really know how to play that current on you. Oh, that's a keeper. He hit that teaser. Seems to be tight on a teaser. Tell you right inside the wash. Oh, slow down. Let me get him on his way. I'm gonna turn my light off now because I am gonna be walking into the surf. So I um so far tonight the, the whole plan or the what we did didn't don't never have a solid plan is I walked Covered a lot of water with the needle, hit a few fish, had a fluke, uh, cold weather fluke, and uh, then I hung tight on structure and uh, worked the the old the bucktail through with with uh, the bucktail teaser and uh, the bass, the striped bass were kind of in between the teaser and the bucktail, had some double headers and uh, really worked out well. And uh, I'm going to be fishing a little bit more, but that's how the night was approached, and really good one. Uh, some nice fish in there. Definitely, I think, one or two were keepers, and pretty close. And uh, 
can't complain. So I'm going to be fishing some more. I was doing something different working the needle through. I'm pretty sure he grabbed. Different went back to the maybe not different for me. Went back to the needlefish. You see a striper not too long after. We'll see. You never know with these fish. Sometimes they're bigger or smaller than you think. And he is. Oh, he's a nice one. That's a nice fish. Wow. That teaser. Definitely a nice fish. Got the big pack on him. And uh, just cold weather, freezing cold weather, striped bass surf fishing tonight, and uh, it's a good night. Uh, definitely a lot of smaller stripers um, with some keepers mixed in. Nothing huge, but some nice fish, uh, nice keeper class fish here and there. And it is freezing. It's a better fish, I know that. I've seen him jump. He's got a big keeper range. Pretty sure. Oh, still on. Came in with that wave. I thought we lost him. He nailed that. Took drag. He's got to be a keeper. Let's see. Oh, wow. It's the smallest one of the night. <laughs> he was a, oh, he's a nice one. He's a nice fish. Bucktail. what that is. The dark. He nailed it. I watched him jump. Like fire time. Until the water's coming in now. working tonight with the uh, bucktail, mostly tonight with uh, for the striped bass with uh, the bucktail and the bucktail teaser and uh, they seem to be right now tight on the teaser I've been throwing a needle on back and forth but uh, I've had some beauties on the bucktail so just working tonight with the bucktail and the bucktail teaser Oh, that feels, he feels okay. I tell you, I'm just never gonna get tired of this. But I am gonna, I'm like a vampire. I'm probably gonna leave before the sun comes up. It feels like the same class fish we've been hitting. Not the bucktail. It's coming in now. Wow. Is he? There he is. Oh, that's a nice fish. I'm gonna get him up above the water. Every time I get my sleeves wet. Oh, he's had a long journey. I get my sleeves wet.
There he goes. I'm going to get the camera off. I don't know if those are markings or... I always said, you know, I'm not big on working bucktails with bucktail teasers to striped bass, but uh, I do do it now and then. Uh, there's no hard, firm set of rules uh, in fishing, and I like that. I like to break them. I like to break my own rules. But uh, just working a lot tonight with the bucktail and the bucktail teaser for the stripers, striped bass fishing here on the surf on a freezing cold, first freezing cold fall night. There was definitely frost on my car when I left. But I'm glad I got out. I almost stayed in. And uh, really nice fishing. Uh, this is just plain, fun, fast fishing. And they seem to be pretty hard pressed on the teaser. I'm gonna go up a little on the drag. No, we don't regret that later. sketchy with those bigger fish you really want to be working a heavier drag especially with the new regulations they got to be between certain size and certain size you get those big giant ones we oh, grab the bucktail oh that's a nicer fish that's a keeper I know there's a couple keepers mixed in he looks like he's in there Kind of, he's one of the long, skinny ones. Get close. He chased that there buck. Bucktail, bucktail. Look at that, my bucktail teaser. That's wild. He looks like a close to a keeper. Yeah, he's a keeper size fish. He's got close to one of them. Definitely in there. Yeah, he's walking up my arm. Let me get him on his way. I really love these here felt trailers, uh, craft felt wool trailers. Um, you see I worked through with the same one all night. And uh, the beauty is if there's any bluefish around, um, they're gonna hold up to bluefish too. And uh, second beautiful part is this thing probably only costs less than a penny. And it lasted all night and it'll go into our next trip if we're lucky. Just put a little glue up there and you're good to go. Good stuff. Uh, he's running good. He could be a, he's one of the better fish for sure. Okay. Well, I lost him. But it's freezing night, striped bass fishing here. Getting in there now. He, now he feels like one of the regular guys. But I am going to start walking back. Cold weather, striped bass, freezing out first day. Got the neoprenes on, and uh, we're set, we're good to go. Oh. Took them up for us, huh? That's a nice fish. That's a keeper. So I'm gonna be getting out of here. Keeper on the teaser. They're mixed in if you're looking for dinner. And uh, really good night. So I'm gonna get him going and uh, I'm gonna turn off my lamp. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, he's definitely a key.